It's a bit spaces. YouTube, I'm back in the building. This is Caleb Harris, NSH Network, and I'm back to react to, you know, Lakers, you know what I'm saying? They better go against the Nuggets tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a big time game, big time rematch. The Nuggets and the Lakers played last season um, in the playoffs and all the way to the Western Conference. And but the Lakers got uh, swept by Denver uh, by Jokic and Murray. And uh, but uh, we get a rematch, and this is one probably going to be the most watched uh, round one game of you know just uh, the NBA playoffs. So uh, let's check out what ESPN got to say and look at some other videos because I know Stephen has got to say something. But uh, I, let me. I, trying to win the championship and I respect that but this is what LeBron James does you know he wants you to rely strictly on the game right but on far too many occasions when the theater of competition takes fold he doesn't want to be a participant in that meaning that you somebody you talking smack to him you coming at him and what have you he doesn't feed into that one of the reasons we love when when Lance Stevenson blew in his air legs and, and Wendy is because we knew that obviously he was the superior player he was playing on a superior team. The Indiana Pacers are trying to antagonize him. And we knew that LeBron James was going to respond to it. We could just tell. And we were good with that. In this particular instance, it's a different... Where is he going with this? I'm confused. I can't even react to this because I don't know where he's going with this. Let me just share some more. You ain't the giant, okay? You're supposed to be the giant slayer. The giants are the Denver Nuggets. Oh, all right, here we go. Every <laughs> bro, just cause this happened last year, and you know, Denver Nuggets literally smacked them so hard, bro. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen again, bro. I have a feeling that this the Lakers gonna win this series just because of last year. I mean, Denver are comfortable. Denver are you know are in the second seed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They lost some games. They beat the Lakers all the regular season games. But, uh, I mean, the Lakers team, they have, um, you know, good pieces on that squad. Different, not a diff whole different team. They have, like, really the same team, but just a little more pieces. Hey, bro, I'm just saying, Lakers might do something. But I don't know what Stephen A's saying. This guy here always always got something to say about the LeBron and the Lakers. But let me hear that. Ah, uh, he ain't Kevin though, bro. The Lakers get beat every time against the freaking Denver Nuggets. They had the first game of the season was against Denver. They lost that, and then they played Denver on Kobe's uh, statue memorial thing. They lost that. I'm like, goodness gracious! When was the last time they won against Denver? I just don't know, bro. The Denver own LeBron and the Lakers, but I just feel like the Lakers are sick of it. They're sick and tired of being sick and tired, and they got to do something, and hopefully they can do something, bro, but I really don't want this to happen. I don't want PTSD again. Oh, my gosh. Since the start of 2023, including the playoffs, this was playoffs 8-0. and zero. They have not lost against the Lakers, bro. Oh, my gosh. I'm. I'm not. I wouldn't. I would say I'm scared, but I. Went out there and took you out. The second go round, they took you out when Kobe's statue was unveiled. I just said that. The third time they took you out was when LeBron James dropped forty thousand points for his career. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, bro. LeBron scored. What's with the historical nights? The Denver Nuggets still beat the Lakers, bro. Let the. Whoa, I just saw this. Too much emphasis on rematch, bro. What, 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 LeBron, 
What do you mean? Too much. You lost against the different Nuggets so many times, bro. They people want you to fail again, bro. We be talking about too much emphasis. I just saw this, bro. What are you talking about? Too much emphasis. Too much emphasis? This, to, to be honest, it's not enough emphasis. It needs to be more emphasis. <laughs> Y'all need, need to win this series, bro. Ain't no... <laughs> Got me over cracking up on myself, bro. Like, bro, what are you talking about too much emphasis? What, he want little, little, little emphasis? Bro, the Denver Nuggets have been owning, like, literally slapping them on the butt because they just keep owning them. And he's talking about too much emphasis. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? You have, when was the last time you won against Denver Nuggets, bro? Win this series, and then we're going to be like, too much emphasis. But, bro, nah, 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 nah. Bro, you get it, you get it, bro. <laughs> too much emphasis? <laughs> LeBron's going to If you listen to LeBron James, like, they don't whip that ass about eight straight times. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, bro. <laughs> Imagine Le every time LeBron goes home after different nights and then his son's at, hey, LeBron, hey, hey, dad, how, was, how you doing? He's like, it's too cold for this because Denver. Bro, I just, it's only two minutes into the video and I just realized what this dude just said. Too much emphasis, bro. Dang, Steve ain't throwing shots. Steven A, look, everybody knows I'm far from any sort of LeBron apologist or anything like that. In fact, people that love LeBron think it the other way. I pride myself on not having an agenda to come out and give my honest opinion. Here's the thing. When I first heard it and then I read it again, because I wanted to make sure I got it all, because sometimes I look for little subtle things and something somebody might say. I thought, you know what? This, this isn't that bad. This is nothing inflammatory where I'm going to go in on him to think he was coming off soft or weak. In this matchup, and I wanted to hear more about it. I really didn't think there was much to it, and here's why. Bottom line is, they didn't know they were going to get Denver. So you, it's easy to sit here and say. What you mean you didn't know you didn't get Denver, bro? If you won the. This is what I said before. In the playing games, they, they played the Pelicans. I said they can win that game, but would they rather have OKC or Denver? Both teams are high stack teams, bro. OKC is a young team, still have flaws. You know what I'm saying? Denver is a you know veteran and a young team at the same time. I guess Denver's a day more dangerous than OKC. Let me just say that OKC young and they're you know give OKC two more years and then they'll be like they're already that team. But like they just you know they don't have that uh you know more fear factor. Denver to the Lakers are a fear factor because they already beat them so many times. The Lakers beat the OKC. Thunder so many times. They already beat them in the regular season a couple of times. I was thinking maybe you should lose the Pelicans game, but they just, you know, pry and they trying to win the game saying, we got this. All right, God, go ahead and play around. Go ahead. You're going against the Nuggets tomorrow, bro. If y'all lose the first game tomorrow, and, I mean, if you lose the first game tomorrow, it's in Denver, okay? But, bro, if you lose the series, bro, if you get swept, I'm like, at least make it interesting, LeBron. But if you get swept, LeBron, you might as well retire because... There's no reason you are expending all those old mechanics and your legs just to get swept, bruh. And talking about too much emphasis. Like, bruh, what the heck? Anyway, let me end this video real quick. Only three minutes in the end of it. Just got it. thinking about them all year. The bottom line is the Lakers were trying to survive. They were just trying to get into the play and survive the play -ins. We didn't know they were going to get Denver until right the last couple of days. Exactly. We didn't know. Oh. It is. Just look at this. Look at this. Look at this bullying, bro. Jokic owns AD's butt, bro. Like, this series last year, bro, I stopped making edits because of that, bro. Because it just made me so mad. And I was like, I was ready to get my computer and start editing Adobe Premiere Pro instead of my freaking phone. But, bro, I was like, you know, let me just stop, bro. Because there's no reason why LeBron and AD getting owned by freaking Murray and Jokic. But, bro, look, these highlights just show you. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Just ran it up. Right? You just bagging them down like little babies. Like, golly. 
Yeah, bro. Let me ask you guys both something. Do you think part of the reason that LeBron like can't go more in is because man, the Nuggets are a bunch of good dudes. They don't have a Lance Stevenson. They don't have a dude. Anyway, bro, I just don't know, man. This <sighs> this song about KD and stuff. I was just talking about the Lakers, but bro, if the Lakers gonna do something, they better do some. You know, right now, not right now, right, right now. Like, they better do some. Because, you know, say if they win, if they win this game against the Denver Nuggets. Who they go against, bro? Let me let me look that up real quick. Alright, here's a bracket. Alright. See, if the Lakers win this game. Oh, they already won the <laughs> Pelicans game. If the Lakers win this game against the Lake uh against the Nuggets, they're gonna go against the Timberwolves or the Suns. The Lakers ain't got it easy. The West is stacked. Even if even if if they get over the Nuggets, they got the Suns or the Timberwolves, bro. Like, even if they were in anywhere, they would have problems, bro. And like, unlike the freaking East, the East, the East is easy, bro. They got the magic in that mode, bro. The paces, the bro, like the East is so easy, but bro, right here, like nah, bro. The West is stacked, is scary. Lakers. When this game, they're going against the Timberwolves or the Suns. The Suns have KD, Devin Booker, and the Timberwolves have Anthony uh, Edwards, uh, what's called Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, uh, what's called, you know, just 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 stack players. And they have role players, too. Like, it ain't going to be easy, bro. It ain't going to be easy. But I don't know. But Denver, hopefully the Lakers can win that series just to make my edits good or something like that. But, bro, just please just do something. LeBron, too much emphasis, bro. Get out of my face. Anyway, that's it for this video. I had to react to that, bro. A little preview of tomorrow. I'm definitely reacting to that. Probably to react to the game right after. Not right after, but, like, like two hours after because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. They really strict on the copyright stuff. But, um, no, I stand the ground on stop. So, if you're new to this channel, I'm Caleb Paris. This is NSA Generic. I react to NBA videos and uh, news, uh, you know, games, other sports games and everything uh you know what i'm saying i really i don't know i don't do baseball the baseball is just i i don't i don't do that but uh <laughs> i don't i can do basketball football soccer probably and other stuff you know what i'm saying if it's like a major thing like boxing like mike tyson and jake paul thing i'm gonna react to that but i can't you know react to the actual boxing thing because i really get blocked but i'm gonna react to the news and everything but anyway that's me uh I edit on you know youtube instagram tiktok go check that out i'm gonna say a thousand follows for tiktok so go ahead and follow me up you know what I'm saying? If you want to subscribe to this channel right now, go ahead. If you don't, you know, just enjoy the rest of your day. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Stay safe. Stay aware. This is your boy Caleb Harris in that station. Never got him out of the building.